All right, let's just jump into it, shall we? This is Tess, which is a Legacy Storm deck. Tess stands for the Epic Storm. For those not familiar with distinctions between Legacy decks, the Epic Storm or Tess in Legacy is usually defined by utilizing Burning Wish here and additional pieces of fast mana. Notably, Chrome Mox is usually absent from the Ant variation of Storm. Uh, this build is notably also leaning on Mox Opal with the addition of Wishclaw Talisman from Eldraine. Another pow pretty powerful recent addition to the deck is Echo of the Eon Seer, which alongside Lion's Eye Diamond can be a time twister in a pinch. So we played this one a few times on stream in the past. It's a good, good puzzle deck. Um, not the most competitive deck in the world, but a lot of fun. We win, usually win plenty of matches with it, so... Let's go ahead and pop on into a Legacy League here with this one and see how it goes. It's Historic's really sweet. There's a good, good range of decks in Historic. Been enjoying, enjoying that format a lot. Yeah, there's a number of states that still really haven't done much, Joseph. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. Wishclaw Wish is one of those awkwardly templated. It's not templated as this is sorcery speed. It's templated as only on your turn. She said on Wednesday of last week there'd be no lockdown and then science happened. Yeah. Hope hopefully whatever spurred the lockdown wasn't because they were already overwhelmed. Locking locking down when the hospitals are already overwhelmed doesn't really help. Yeah, I I cannot believe that Florida is having the response that it's having to this whole thing. Uh, this hand's quite good, huh? So we've got one, two. This hand, like, goes off on turn one with Veil of Summer up, right? Although turn one zombie probably means we don't have to worry about it. There's a Florida Flor Floridian, I completely agree with it. Our, our governor... I've been listening to actual medical doctors since the beginning. I've actually started to like, where, where are you at, Recon? Ohio. Yeah, Ohio, Ohio's been, been on the ball. What do you think about the five billion stimulus package not passing? I think any stimulus package that has as much or more relief for billion dollar corporations that does for normal people should pound sand. I think I think the Democrats should not be pressured to pass bad legislation that the Republicans want to push through. All right, so what am I doing here? Uh, so we've got one, two, three. This will be spell four. This will be spell five. You can technically cast one of these as six. Do you think making goblins is good enough here? What are, what are the odds making goblins is good enough? I could just make... I could just make one, two, three, four, five... Six. I can make 12, like, 14 goblins here on turn one. 
I could also echo and wheel. If I echo and wheel, I'll have three floating mana afterwards. What, what do we think is more likely to win us the game? 14 goblins or... 14 goblins or wheel? How do I get... How do I get ad nauseum? Oh, I could tutor. Do I have enough mana for that? I have one, two, three... That's three mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's two, four, nine. Yeah, okay, so I could I could ad nauseum. The problem is like ad nauseuming with two LEDs out seems a little bit loose. Although I guess this deck has a lot of zero mana cards in it, huh? Yeah, let's turn let's do the let's go for the let's go for the ad nauseum. I think, I think ad nauseum's probably probably pretty realistic. This is two, three, six, nine. Damn, she's fine. Ad nauseum, gonna suck it to you one more time. Getting tendrils, getting tendrils, getting tendrils, getting tendrils. So the full, the full details of the package, I don't believe were posted. So we crack these. This resolves. We grab Infernal Tutor. I'm just assuming they're not a forcible deck on turn one. Fair, uh, turn one carrying feeder. Infernal Tutor lets us get any card out of our deck. We grab. We grab Ad Nauseum here. We're not like gearing. We're not guaranteed to kill them on the first turn here with Ad Nauseum, but like it's pretty likely. Use your, use your name on point. Yep. All right. Well, that's... Uh, there's Is there a Tendrils in our main deck? I forget. It's been a hot second. Okay, yeah. So, there's not a Tendrils in our main deck. We flipped the Echo. So, flipping flipping the Echo actually means we get to be super aggressive here and not worry about it. Because it's the only thing that costs two or less in our deck. So, now we get to just draw cards until we're at two. And then once we're at two, we'll assess if we have to push more. Okay, so now now we're at two. Can we, can we win the game here from two? So let's figure out what exactly we have that makes mana and stuff. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm counting mana. I should, I need to reorganize this actually. Okay, so I already have a right of flame in my graveyard. So each of these are one, so that's four. This is plus two, which is six. This is plus two, which is eight. This is plus three, which is 11. So I have 11 mana. So 11 mana, wish claw is three. So that leaves me with eight. So I can wish claw for burning wish and then burning wish for tendrils and kill them. So I believe, I believe, I believe we have, I believe we have lethal here. So we go this. Into this. Into this. Make red mana. Make red mana. Mox Opal. Dark Ritual. Wish Claw using the red. Activate Wish Claw. Grab a Burning Wish. Storm Count is plenty high. And again, for those, for those not familiar here, this is the first turn of the game. Turn, turn numero uno. Cast Angels of Agony. Drain our opponent for 34. 
Oh yeah, sorry. Second turn. They had one turn. We had one turn. Two, one plus one is two. Sorry. I don't want to. I don't mean to over exaggerate. Did not. Did not mean to exaggerate. Sorry. It was. It was in fact the second turn. Okay. So, uh, I'm putting them on a discard based disruption deck. I think so. Veil gets to stay in because Veil works against discard. Uh, Defense Grid obviously comes out. I think we just brought in like Chain of Vapor and Abrupt Decay here. Is the is the plan? Is there a chance chance they have permanent based hate out of their sideboard? These cards these cards are more useful than Defense Grid will be at any rate on average. I think here. Something silly like main board trap? Yeah, probably. I had I had the mana, right? Despite having the ability to work from home, your company is making you take PTO? That's wild. Makes me miss Narset Cannon. Alas, that deck died with the Fateful Saluting Man. So this hand has... This hand's quite bad, right? This Chrome Mox basically doesn't have text, and these don't work either. Um, yeah, this hand, this hand's a keep. I think I'm bottoming a land here. Neat epic storm. Yeah, I just, I just went back and picked up the last list that we, we had played here to some success. Oh, okay. So we're not boarded correctly. Are they? Wait, careful study. Are they? Okay, so they are. Should I expect Force of Will out of this deck? I've not. I've not played against this. Should I expect Force of Will, or or are they a discard based deck? Just discard? Okay. So... I think we just spew my hand here, right? Is it crazy? I don't think it's... It's like probably not crazy to put this Abrupticay under the Chrome Box, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the Abrupticay under the Chrome Box. Let's say go here. And then next turn, I have five mana. So if I draw a mana source next turn, I can wish for ad nauseum and ad nauseum. Which should be which should be pretty decent. Assuming assuming no disruption here. Yeah, yeah, we're a mana, mana source away from doing it. We could also just, like, draw a Dalsium naturally. We could draw... Nah, Burning Wish doesn't do anything particularly useful here, huh? I don't think. Without, without an LED, Burning Wish doesn't really echo. Yep, put in Confirmed, Hogok. Doesn't look like they've hit any Venge Vines, if that's a card they play yet, though. Thoughtseize. Okay, so Thoughtseize does set us back. It means I need to draw, like, a Dark Ritual or an LED as a double mana source in order to pop off next turn. Wish would let you get Echo and then Wish Claw for LED. Okay. Um, What are the odds I die next turn? I feel like it's really low. I don't think it's crazy to just land past here, huh? 
I think it's I think it's just like LED pass. Just like hope to draw another mana source next turn. They have a cabal therapy in their bin, so like don't want to like wish claw and like hope to hope to have it for a turn. I think we could we could die. I think there's a chance we die here, but I think I think it's correct to just like gamble a little bit. Hit my auto pass key and see what they do. There is there is also a chance that they like flip venge vines and hit us with that, which could be bad. Because like losing my health total makes my potential ad nauseum worse. This is Legacy Lebo. This guy, this guy's not legal anywhere else that matters. Opponent named Abandon Hope with Cabal Therapy. I see they are. They are, they are a, a player of culture. Manasaurus? Manasaurus? Oh, man. All right. Well, now they have a bunch of stuff. Is there is there anything we can do? So I can like fetch burning wish, but this just doesn't really accomplish anything. I'm I'm a mana short of guessing at nausea. And like I'm taking 12, 16 next turn. So like getting at nausea doesn't really accomplish anything at that point. Yeah, but like, how do I, how do I, I, can I, can I win from four? Cause like, we can't draw a bunch of cards. I guess, I guess we could hit, I guess we could hit Nako. Yeah, yeah, we'll pass. We'll pass. If they don't, if they don't actually kill us, Echo of the Odds could maybe hit well and then generate enough storm to kill them. But Ad Dog seems going to be off the table once we take a big hit here. going on the shiny kuma yeah so um since pioneer ended up ended up being kind of medium uh i am taking submissions for modern legacy vintage popper any any of the magic online formats my uh my morning segment is not going to be just pioneer it's going to be whatever magic online format has the most points in my cube okay well there's an arc ritual we needed last turn Kind of medium is understand. I was being kind. It's not. It's not Pioneer's fault. Watsy doesn't love him anymore. All right. So we're at four. Do I? We just make mana. I'm supposed to just like make mana at Echo here, right? Like just six mana Echo. I think, I think is the plan. It was okay. I don't know. I don't really enjoy getting beat up playing fair decks in modern. I have one mana left over after I echo here. So this is unlikely to result in a game win, but it's our line. And, and we get to draw seven cards before we die, so, like, that's always a treat, right? I 
Thanks for the tier two troll. Welcome back. All right, so these are actually pretty good cards here, huh? So storm count is five. Storm count is six. Are they dead? I think they're dead, right? We get to we get to wish for ad nauseum. This is storm count seven. Yeah, okay. Sure. Why not? Is there any reason to cast the brainstorm first? Is there any reason not to cast the brainstorm first? Should I, should I cast the brainstorm first here? They could have like a naturalize or something and like kill my LED in response to the brainstorm. I feel like I'm supposed to force uh, brainstorm first. Yeah, I could I could hit a I could hit a veil of summer here because I have I have enough mana to cast a veil of summer if we find it. So we'll leave we'll leave Bayou in here so we can veil with that. Yeah, we can we can wish for tendrils. We're just like talking about whether or not it's optimal to try and find that that card right there. Can we beat a veil out of them? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't think so is the answer. If they if they have a veil of summer, we're short here. Because I, I don't have enough storm count to kill them with... Uh, I don't have a storm count to kill them with grape shot, unfortunately. Survey says. Hoo -hoo! Hoo -hoo! Easy, easy game. That was nice. I'm glad I'm glad I didn't concede. That was close. This is a very, very good seven. Bunch of fast mana and a wish. It's a good, it's a good, what is it? Rube, what do they call Rube Goldberg machines? They're just like trying to figure out the puzzle. It's a very, very, very good puzzle deck. This hand just doesn't do anything. This is a blue source or a fetch land we'd probably keep because it's like close enough, but. I mean, we're not here to not wheel on turn one, right? We're not here to not wheel on turn one. Um, I should bottom the fetch land because the point of life could matter from it, right? Yeah, this wheels this wheels with three mana floating. Thanks for the entire year of support, Toastmaster. Let's get you a sword to go with that shield. Thanks for keeping me around. Oh, no! Not Knight of the Reliquary. How will, how will we ever win the game now, chat? They've cast, they've cast a Knight of the Reliquary. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. We're about to have a really, un I made mean, now that I've made fun of their Knight of the Reliquary, we're about to have a really unlucky wheel. Probably, probably shouldn't have made fun of their Knight of the Reliquary, but, 
you know. I can't I can't help myself. I could I can't help myself. Um so we can burning wish for something too, but I think I think we're supposed to just wheel, right? They have a three, four, five, six mana total. Wheel of fortune. <sighs> Am I getting punished for not taking the fetch land? For not playing the fetch land? I think it might be. Am I, cra am I cracking this pedal to brainstorm? I have to find three pieces of mana off of it? Yeah, I also gave them six cards. I think I think I need to try and kill them here. We did, we did, just a little bit. Do 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 do. Okay, so I think my plan here is to put ad nauseum on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're gonna put ad nauseum on the bottom, and then we're going to um, brainstorm, crack LED in response next turn. And I can play I can play defense grid for poops and giggles and play my LED out here. And we're just like hoping they don't have they don't have a chalice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. We're we're hoping if they don't if they didn't have a chalice in the eight cards we gave them or seven, six cards or whatever we gave them, we could be okay here. Depends on, depends on what those randoms are. We did we did gas them back up after they spent six cards. Oh no! Oh no! Well, shoot. That's a tough sell. So like, playing it out plays around Chalice on zero. Or playing it out obviously doesn't play around abrupt decay. <laughs> no, no, mercy, mercy, mercy. Oh no, Every, everything went so terribly wrong, Chet. How did how did it all go so terribly wrong? Remember when we made fun of the Knight of the Reliquary chat? Remember remember when we made fun of the Knight of the Reliquary? TK Shillings, thanks for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to Glandia. Hope you're having a good one wherever you're at. All right, so... Is this a board in a bunch of Empty the Warrens matchup? It's definitely an Abrupt Decay defense grid out matchup. Is the empty the Warren plan good? I think I think it's I think it's bored in a pile of empties, right? I think I think that's the plan. They very likely have tabernacle. Well, ain't that a bag of poop? All right, you know what? Let's let's just try and get him. We're on the play. Let's just do it live. It's gonna be it's gonna be great, Chad, okay? It's gonna be great. We're gonna get him. Uh this hand does not get anyone. I appreciate that, Chillins. Thanks for keeping me around making stuff. The plans draw a better seven next time, right? I, I don't know that I can keep this. I 
I guess I do. I think I do. And we just like, we play, we play Wish Claw on one, right? Is the plan? Yeah. Do you fetch, do you fetch Basic Island since we have Moxel, or fetch Basic Swamp since we have Moxopal? Yeah. Look at that. Figured, figured it out. This turns on Mox Opal. And then, is it crazy to use Wish Claw? It's probably crazy to use Wish Claw. I'm gonna pass. So I have five mana total here. I think it's still just land pass. Because if we draw a mana source next turn, we can uh we can wish claw for ad nauseum. Hopefully we don't get like Thalia or Teague tier, is the worry. Wiki, thanks for seven months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Yeah. I've played I've played this matchup from the loam side for a lot back in the day. And I think I think they're incredibly favored. I think like the games where we don't punk them out, I, I actually think this style of matchup is much harder for this archetype than the Force of Will decks tend to be. It's like, while you do sometimes just kill them and they don't get to do anything, there's a lot of games where, like, the games where you don't kill them on one or two and then they get to play their permanent base hate piece are real tough. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just hanging out. I boarded in two chains and an abrupt decay. It's like we're not just dead, but, like, we're not in a great spot. Morning, Barbaric. Two chains, the rapper. Yes, exactly. Our deck, our deck is about to lay some fat beats. Obviously, Vale needs another line of text about destroying white permanent, something like that. Now that looks like an elk to me, so whatever. Ooh, ooh, just making a food, eh? Guess who's back? Back again. Oko's back. Tell a friend. God, I never, I never thought I was gonna have to see his abs again, chat. Thought I was never gonna have to see his abs again. Yep. But his CMC is not Amzian. Yeah, I, I assume they're blue for Oko and Leobold. Stupid sexy Oko. Okay, so 
Now I just wish for LED and wheel, right? It's like not a great plan, but it's what we've got. These are these are still plus one mana under Thalia. Did I have enough mana to do that? I might have I might have had enough mana to bounce her and wheel. That cost two more mana that way. Yeah, I, pr I probably had enough to do that. So we found we actually found the chain of vapor here. Oh, I could generate a storm with Opal. Yeah, that's true. It's it's a free roll, right? Because it costs one mana, but it makes one mana. If we'd have found a win condition in here, like if one of if one of these had been a win condition, I think we actually win this game, right? Because if if like any of these had been like a burning wish, we would have like chained her and then gone. That would have been five, six, seven, eight burning wishes, nine tendrils them. We don't have enough mana to do something while chaining the talisman, right? That's a good question. I don't think so. I have I have uh one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine mana total. This costs two, this costs four. That's that's not how chain of vapor works, Iggy. The person who controls it chooses chooses to suck it. Yeah, it's controller, not owner. That was close. Yeah, got lucky with the wheel in the last one. Not so lucky here. So it's a tough matchup. If you don't if you don't get them on like the first or second turn of the game, if you're on the play. And they get their permanent base hate down. It's it's an uphill slog. Especially when it's a card like Thalia. That disruption plus pressure for our health total. Yeah, we played a land sandals, but that doesn't really help us. We just didn't have enough mana to do anything. Uh, this hand goes... One, two, three, six. Uh, this, is a, this is a turn one wheel, right? This is a turn one wheel without playing a land? I have all, all the mana floating, and I haven't played a land, so we'll keep. I mean, Wish Claw for Wheel is worse than Burning Wish for Wheel, right? Because Burning Wish for Wheel leaves me an extra mana. Why do we have Defense Grade in our main for Counterspell decks? It's, uh, it's an artifact for Mox Opal, and it's good against uh, Counterspell decks. Go. Force pitching. Brainstorm. Uh, 
Preordain could imply that they're a combo deck. Not guaranteed though. Hoping to draw a land or a cantrip next turn. Okay. I think I lead on defense grid here. Okay, probably Delver. So I can wish claw for wheel here if I want, but do I do I want? What are the odds that Volk Volk probably can't take my wish claw off the table here, right? Game one, like post board, they might have like a braid or something or a bounce spell. I feel I feel like I'm pretty in the clear to just pass here, right? Yeah, because we have we have six mana. So if I if I wait till next turn, I could just get ad nauseum and cast it. And we're we're way less likely to brick with an ad nauseum than we are to brick with a uh than we are to brick with a once it called, a uh, a wheel. An echo of the eons. Delver didn't flip, so we get extra life to work with here. Welcome back, Tadio. Hey, they had the force in their opener, okay? They don't need the Delver flip too. Delver, Delver just doesn't like me. He doesn't, he doesn't like to flip when I'm in a match, which is, which is good when we're on this side of the table. Their Delvers always flip, something like that. Will we see Vintage? I mean, we've played Vintage on stream in the past, so as is always the case with this channel, Lamacopter, I'm just playing what people send in. So this deck, the modern decks we've been playing, these are all, these are all viewer submissions, just like everything else on the channel. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to fetch before this, right? Because I could theoretically... Ad nauseum, all of my mana producing lands. It might also be right to just not play the fetch. Alright, so they're like assuredly dead, right? So the way the way I do add nauseum in this deck is you get it's just a free roll to draw until you're at six life. And if you've already hit the echo, it's a free roll to draw until you're at two life. So you might as well draw as many cards as possible because drawing cards while playing Magic the Gathering is the life's blood of the game. It's what we live for, so. It's what I, it's what I live for, at least. So you best, you best believe I'm going to pick up as many, as many cards as I, as I'm, as I'm legally, as I'm legally allowed to, we're going to keep drawing. Uh, yeah, and they're they're currently defense grinded out of the game, right? So I just don't even need to try and think about play around anything. So we could we could generate more storm here, but we don't need to. 
All right, and then um, the deck's actually like pre-boarded for Delver. Maybe I want like one chain or one abrupt decay post board. So that way, I think I want like one piece of permanent based removal post board to wish claw for in a pinch. But for the most part, like our anti Delver cards are are in the main deck, and decay can like kill their threat in a pinch if they're like pressuring us. I think I think that's reasonable. I think I'm gonna cut a right of flame to bring that in. Do I want to empty against Elver? No, I don't think so. Let's do this. Ooh. Yeah, I think this is fine. Natterjack, thanks for the 21 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. It's a good pickup. Oh, there's no trop in this deck. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, these are great, right? It's going to differ week to week, champion. This week I'm taking off Tuesday and Friday. You'll be able to find my schedule the week of on my website every week. So I'll be I'll be off tomorrow. Do I take which two do I, if I take two of these, can I go off next turn? Yeah, I think I want to draw right of flame lions eye diamond. Flip the bolt, yep. Did I miss a deck? I totally missed the blue red wizards at the top of the queue. No, it'll be up. It'll be up on Wednesday. I missed that it was pushed to the top. It's just been yesterday was a long day. They've all been long days. The decks, the decks we're playing today are the ones that are listed in the stream title. I don't have that one prepped. So, Caldred, thanks for the 15 months. Do I do stuff this turn? If we go off successfully, if we go off successfully, we might have enough to decay Meddling Mage while killing them. So I have, if Meddling Mage is naming Burning Wish, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10 mana here. So I can just add Nauseam this turn, right? I can add Nauseam with uh, with 3 floating. So I think I think that's the play. I just hope they don't have Force here. I don't believe we have a curfew, but the governor here issued a shelter in place order, which means people are not supposed to be leaving their homes except for essential tasks. I don't really know what enforcement of that looks like, though. There's a fine. Okay. I think I'm happy with how we board aid. I'm just going to go ahead and run it back. Delver into Delver flip into Meddling Mage into Force Theres a lot. You keep game three on the play. The Surgeon General has issued a statement that things are going to get bad this week. Yep, they're already bad in some spots. Morning, Raymond Moose. Raymond Roos. Um, what does this hand do? Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I think I keep this and brainstorm on one. Yeah, both, both California, yeah, Cal, Cal, the beaches in Florida have been packed too. I'm really, I'm really concerned that a lot of people aren't going to take this seriously until they personally start seeing bodies get stacked up like there are, like it's happening in Italy. It's really frustrating that people are so callous and stupid. So I'm going to have to redraw one of these cards. Probably get rid of the land. Does it make sense to lose the land? Yeah, probably. They need, need an extra spell for the Chromox anyways. Your mother-in-law is traveling eight hours by car to visit your son-in-law who works at a hospital that had a confirmed case and then wants to come back and watch your newborn next week. Yeah. Um, that's, that's like an astonishing amount of ignorance. That, like, is there something medically necessary or does her life depend on traveling eight hours to see? Like, it's... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so we could do stuff this turn. In Germany, you can be fined up to 25,000 euro. Good. Good. 
Are we just supposed to jam here? We've gotten forced every other time we've jammed in this game, in this match. I could just cast Wishclaw Talisman and pass. If I play Wishclaw without playing Chrome Mox out, I could get dazed, which is bad. I'm just going to go for it. Let's do stuff. Wheeling. No, I, I technically have enough mana to wish for. Wish for an ad nauseum, huh? Although that doesn't play around D's. All right, on to the next one. And it's, it's not even just young people, right? Like, there's lots of good examples of people like Whammy's mother-in-law. Who are just like in high-risk category groups that are also acting very belligerently in a way that's very detrimental to themselves and the public health in general. Yeah, all of, I feel like if you live in a state where your governor is waiting for other governors or guidance from the Fed to act and they're up for election November, you should vote them out. They're, they're not a leader. It's, it's a really terrible position. They were, they were elected to lead. They should be taking charge and protecting the people in their state. An error code, error about the set code for Jeffrey. Try downloading it as a text file and importing it that way, Rook. I don't have time to test that now, and that's not my software. I use another, another things plugin. This is, this is a hard deck to play when there's so much going on. There's a lot of things, a lot of things to account for and just, I don't know, having a hard time focusing of the late. The world kind of sucks right now. I think I'm throwing back Chrome Mox and Land here since we're down cards. The old windswept teeth. Grab underground sea and ponder here. Um, 
We don't have enough artifacts for this, but the mana is good, so we'll keep these. Don't value me, bro. Sweet. Yeah, it's just hard to compare it to war because a lot of the casualties are going to be caused by willful ignorance and people just being pricks as opposed to people with guns. It's hard. It's hard for me to draw that conclusion because so much of this is so avoidable. Good on, good on Twitch, Tahidra. I actually can't really do anything here, huh? I can, like, make some goblins, but those are actually just terrible against this batter skull. I probably should have waited. I have seven mana total. I don't, I don't have enough mana to do anything with that space ace. That costs four or five mana, and I only have seven, so I have two left over after I tutor. Like spells cost mana. Well, having an ad nauseum in the sideboard doesn't really help because Burning Wish can't get ad nauseum. So, it's probably not a very useful card to put in my sideboard. I should have just played my land and passed. Uh, board in some bounce spells. Against Maverick, I'd probably rather have Hope than Veil, just because it's a cheap artifact that enables Mox Opal. Yeah, I should I didn't I didn't count before I started taking game actions, which was the mistake. You should always actually go through everything before you start taking game actions. It's really kind of uncalled for, Robert. Like, I've enjoyed the set so far. Like, I don't I don't know why, like, sitting here and, like, going, oh, I made a mistake is remembering why I don't play the format. Like, I like playing this deck. There's plenty of fine games to have in Legacy. It's different play patterns than some other formats, but that's fine, too. Magic's great because it does a variety of things. Like, there's nothing wrong with Legacy. If, you're, if your conclusion was whenever I say I made a mistake and we lost because I made a mistake is me remembering I don't want to play a format, we never play any format of magic.
And Sanders doesn't really do anything, right? This game's also garbage. There's crop moxes with nothing to do. All right, so I can bottom these two, and then I have one, two, three, four, five mana on turn one. Doesn't really accomplish much though. We're definitely, definitely keeping, because, well, we're at five cards. I just like land passing. Yeah, I'm supposed to Lotus Petal there. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to Petal Wish Claw, actually. Yeah, if I'd have if I'd have done this last turn, I have one more mana this turn effectively. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I would have played this last turn, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I would have played this last turn, I could add nauseum this turn. So pretty pretty big mistake not playing the Witch Claw Talisman last turn. I'm gonna play this out, and then when they kill it or play a hate card, I'm just gonna concede and try and play the last game without mistakes. Two, two pretty big fumbles here on my part. So, we'd have killed them on turn two most likely. If I'd have taken the right line on turn one. Uh, chances of bricking when you add non-zoom are pretty low. I wouldn't have read that turn. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right, it didn't matter. Because I wouldn't have been able to cast the right of flame. Good call. Thanks for pointing that out. No, the spreadsheet's up to date, isn't Toth? I occasionally fumble and forget to redo things the night the night of, but they're up to date today. This website's one of the the go-to resources for raid stuff. Be kooks. If you're in the subs discord too, there's a uh, If you look into the subs discord, there is a uh, a pinned message in the channel. A couple of them, actually. All right. 
part, you know, p part of me, and I know it's probably worse in terms of how competitive it is, but part of me really wants to, part of me really wants to just like build a version of this deck that just like doesn't have any cantrips in it and just like is all fast mana and cards that kill them. Just to, just to try. I'm sure I'm sure it's less consistent overall, but the games where you're like fumbling around and can tripping and stuff, they're way less fun. Isn't that pretty much Belcher? I don't know. Is there a version of Belcher that plays Witch Claw Talisman? Like I feel like I feel like no one's worked on that for a long time. Philosophically, sure. Something similar to that. Okay, so... I keep these. We draw the Badlands. Next turn, we draw Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual is three, six, nine, Wish Claw Spine. Gonna add Nauseam one more time. Getting Tendrils. Getting Tendrils, getting Tendrils, getting Tendrils. We're still at a nice healthy 19 here, which is great. You love, you love to see it. So we get to draw cards until we're at six life, unless we flip Echo before then, and then we draw cards till we're at two life. Just keep going. Okay, we're at six. And now, now that we're at six, we look at what we've drawn and assess if it's good enough to kill them. If it's good enough to win the game, we stop and we win the game. If it's not good enough to game, we win the game, we press our luck. So I've played a land for the turn. I have one, two, I have, this is five mana, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, it looks like, looks like we have 10 mana. For posterity's sake, I think we'll probably veil a summer here. Alright, so this is a Chain of Vapor matchup.
Yeah, it's, it's interesting to see which businesses are trying to finagle themselves as essential when in reality they're not, though. You want to K2. You expect them to have like things like Sphere of Resistance. I expect them to have discard spells postboard though too, right? Doesn't the uh, doesn't their archetype usually play discard spells postboard? Um Mind Break Trap doesn't get stopped by Veil of Summer. Sure, truck stops remaining open makes sense. Gas gas stations remaining open makes sense. Sure. Opponent mulligan to then concede it. People seem to misunderstand essential for the country to continue running and essential for the company to not lose money. I mean, yeah, it's also like the tough spot too because like pe people are literally being put into the position where can we eat and pay our mortgage or can we do the right thing? And like when push comes to shove and the Republicans and the government are playing, you know, playing with people's lives, people are forced to make really toughy crap, tough, crappy decisions that like, we should just be helping those people. But like a bunch of idiots in the South elected a bunch of Republicans to Congress who don't want to actually do anything for anybody other than the multi-million dollar, billion dollar businesses. And it's just, just like in a normal year, it's just like frustrating and you shake your head, but you go on with your life. But like, in these extraordinary times, it's like, well, these assholes are going to get a bunch of people killed. And it's just very, it's just, it's scary. It's sad and it's scary. I just, it, I, just, there aren't, there aren't words. There just, there aren't, there aren't words. Hate often kills people. This year it's going to kill a lot of people. On less heavy topics, I don't really have specific feedback about this deck. Uh, Brian Cook was in chat at one point, and he said he was working on a variation uh, featuring Carpet of Flowers. And he said he had posted some YouTube videos with that. So if you head on over to, I think it's MTG Epic Storm or The Epic Storm. TheEpicStorm.com. If you head on over to that URL, there's a ton of great content by Brian Cook and some others that they play this archetype a ton. So any any feedback I would give on details about this would be much, much worse than anything they could they could muster up. And yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna think about this. As I remember it, the Democratic Party blocked this Yeah, and they blocked it for a good reason. They blocked it because the relief package that's supposed to be helping normal flipping people contagion had half of its money earmarked for billion dollar corporations. The GOP does not care about you. They don't care about normal people. They are sitting there making a fucking profit while people are dying and unable to pay their mortgage because they're losing their jobs and can't feed their kids and can't cover medical expenses during a pandemic. And it's just, it's so unreal that these people just don't, they don't get it. And like they keep voting for hate and they keep voting to just hurt other people and they don't get that they're hurting themselves. And it's just, It's just, it's so, it's sad. And it's, it's scary. I, I.
Fucking people, man. It's, I just, I don't... <laughs> 